Europe's biggest economies have imposed national lockdowns. Spain is Europe's second worst hit country, with more than 190 deaths and over 6,300 infections, and has now declared a state of emergency. Public gatherings are banned and most shops and businesses are closed. Cafes and restaurants will only be able to carry out home deliveries. For the next two weeks, people have been told to stay at home unless they're going to work or to buy food or medicine. Begonia Gomez, the wife of the Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez and pictured here with her husband last year, has tested positive for the virus. On the streets, cheers of support for health staff going to work and caring for the sick. At the stroke of midnight, sweeping new restrictions came into force across France. Public places described as non-essential forcibly shut, including cinemas, cafes and nightclubs. The traditional French bistro, an integral part of the country's cultural identity, closed. More than 90 people in France have now died from coronavirus and authorities say this is the only way to prevent mass fatalities. J'ai conscience des efforts et des sacrifices. I am aware of the efforts and sacrifices that are required and I have confidence in the ability of French men and women to understand the seriousness of the moment and to adopt together the civic, responsible and supportive behaviour which will enable us to overcome this crisis. Despite the lockdown, local elections are going ahead. The Prime Minister calling for people to come out and vote, but to do so sensibly and keep a safe distance from others. Italy remains Europe's worst hit country, with over 1,400 deaths. Its national lockdown has been in place for nearly a week, but the number of cases and fatalities keeps rising. On Friday, the World Health Organization said Europe was now the epicenter of the COVID-19 outbreak, a virus which started in China and which in just 10 weeks has spread around the world and killed thousands of people. Rich